Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is the Ramble. See, it says Alex, that's me. We'll be here till midnight tonight, Eastern Time. And here we are, finally, we're on tonight. We're actually on. There isn't one thing screwing up like crazy, and, uh, you know, we're going to make things uh, a little bit uh, better. Let me see here. i got to do something here. And I'm trying to remember how I do it. Yeah, we do that. And then we uh, do, um, let's see here. We do, uh, let me see. i got to get my, the thing right here. Yeah, i got to do it right. There we go. And uh, here's our old friend. What? Are you holding us up? Oh, you're, uh, in, a, you're in a restaurant, oh, I see. Uh, I'm having dinner with Gavin Newsom, but I'm the only one that's wearing a mask. Oh, I see. That's that's the French laundry. And at a thousand dollars a plate, this is about as close as I'm ever going to get to it. Did I go to the French laundry? I'm trying to remember. Where is the French laundry? Is it it's in Napa, right? Yeah. I think I went to the French laundry. Yeah, it's not, been open. It's I don't know open. if I remember. Okay. Anyway, hello, Phil. How are you? I thought we'd start off the show with Phil tonight. We were supposed to start it off with him last night. Then his end of it screwed up, and then my end of it screwed up, and uh, everything became a big cluster you-know-what. Yeah, I just couldn't get on Gabnet. I could get on everything else. I figured it was a setting in the computer, so I immediately went and rebooted and yeah. uh, pulled out cables, pushed in cables, Went to the firewall, turned it off. I, you know, I didn't know. So um, it uh, it looks like you know I missed the meal last night. Yeah. Well, then I had a problem. Uh, yeah. uh, why don't you turn off that background? Because it's not exactly the finest key around. Oh yeah, I know. It's the uh, free, it's uh, the built-in one, which would never quite you know adjust itself right. Yeah. Uh, well, don't you know how to get rid of it? Now you see you're stuck in that restaurant for the rest of your life. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see. Is there? Oh, uh, here. Yeah, I've got no, a... no, no. That's not what you wanted. That, you... That's Nancy Pelosi getting a haircut. Oh, geez, no oh. mask. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mask. <laughs> Let me turn that one off, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, turn that one off, too. You just go to none. There's a, uh, there's a none yeah, there. First, I had to find the preferences. Yeah. You know, I, I was reading something this morning mm -hmm. that uh, you know, backgrounds and filters, uh, none. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there, now we're... Yeah, I was reading something this morning that the radiation treatments for people with prostate cancer actually give them brain fog and memory issues. Well, I'm telling you. Yeah. Okay. But I, I yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. Uh, at this this many months later, uh, yeah, people uh, in a forum they were uh, they were uh, they posted about it, and Rainfall. I guess that these are uh, issues that the doctor doesn't actually tell you that uh, there's a possibility you might get. Yeah, yeah. But okay, well, I'm getting it. <laughs> you're getting it. I've had it. I'm I am so tired all the time now. Uh, yeah. And I think a lot of it is COVID fatigue. I think that there is definitely a thing called COVID fatigue. And I think I'm just getting tired of being indoors all the time. I, I even when I go to sleep at night, I, I suddenly, suddenly get really depressed about this being stuck indoors all the time, you know, and, and, and that, better. that, you know, it would be nice if Marjorie and I could go to Europe and have a little vacation or go out to California and see you and all our friends. But we can't. We just no. can't. We can't leave the house. And it's getting worse here, too. Not as bad as it is where you are. California is in really bad shape right now. But, you know, uh, it's you getting know. worse so bad that I, had, I was supposed to have my eyes operated on, and they're dripping like crazy today. But I wasn't going to go do it because 
I didn't want to take the chance of going into a hospital during this pandemic. Okay. You know, we've got uh, Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, just to put in my usual digs, uh, the, you know, the elite uh, in government that are telling us not to not to have parties with more than three uh, people from the same household to wear masks uh, indoors. If there are uh, three uh, couples in the same room, uh, they're not doing it. Well, we're playing uh, we're playing it dangerous. We're having three other people over, but they're all people we know. And it's like one is Shecky, who never leaves the house. Yeah. OK, except to come here on Thanksgiving. Uh, the other one is uh, Natasha, who is Marjorie's friend, who hasn't been out at all. OK. Yeah. And then there's her friend who is a, um, uh, among other things, she helps old people exercise. So she has to get tested all the time. So sure. she's OK. And then I've got my little, you know, thermometer gun that where everybody coming in, I'm going to I'm going to, you know, take their temperature. If that's, if that's OK, I think we're we're all right, you know. Just like at the store, you know, I, I, I actually, uh, I don't know how you've done the last, what, eight months uh, in, in indoors or seven months. Uh, you know, I at least can go to work every day mm -hmm. and uh, I can pretty much live a normal life. The things I miss the most is going to restaurants and sitting indoors. Well, and you, that's you know just, something? Going to work may not be the best idea either. You uh, know? I have to. I know, you know, I know I, you. Well, you have to, but do you? You know, well, let's uh, face it. We both had yeah. cancer that were right. compromised. Well, my life would be over either way. Yeah. Uh, if, if I got the COVID and died or mm. if I went to work or didn't go to work and the mm. store closed down, uh, either way, I, I'd be in, a, in, in bad shape. So uh, my feeling is, uh, well, you know, you know, I mean, be careful, be careful. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I have one of those uh, stations at the front door where people come in, they can take a mask, they can touch a sensor, a light sensor, and it gives them a squirt of uh, uh, hand lotion. Uh, I don't let more than three couples in the store uh, at any one time. Yeah. Uh, I have 4,000 square feet of showroom. And do you wear a mask while you're dealing with them? Absolutely. Everybody wears okay. a mask. Okay. You know, I mean, if you, you know. Uh, I'll tell you what happened to me yesterday. I was down. We were down at the um, uh, the drugstore, and they yeah. had this machine. I was bought bought some candy, and um, I wanted to pay for it using my, you know, uh, uh, my iPhone. Right. Oh. Uh, and and as I'm working with, there's a guy next to me suddenly going just absolutely batshit crazy, yelling and screaming at the guy. You owe me money. I got stolen from money, and the mask is falling down, and he's spitting everywhere. Luckily, uh, I luckily he wasn't spitting in my direction, and I had my mask on. But yeah. geez, you know, I feel like when I go out, it's a fucking landmine that I'm. I have to navigate landmines all around yeah. me because there are people without masks. There's some people with masks. A lot more people are wearing masks now because they know things are getting worse. But geez, almighty, you know, this guy was just going crazy, and I've been I've been paranoid that I'm going to come down with COVID now. You know, what's happening with the uh, the issue between uh, Mayor de Blasio and uh, Governor Cuomo? There's nothing between them. Yeah. One uh, de Blasio says he's closing down the schools. Yeah. Uh, Cuomo says, no, you're oh, not. No, no, no. Quite the opposite. Uh, Cuomo has said that it is up to the local jurisdictions to decide what they're going to do where the schools are concerned. Uh, mm -hmm. De Blasio said that if it goes over a three. OK, uh, 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 on the uh, on the tests and so on, over three percent that he's going to close the schools. And he did it. And today, I mean, uh, the, uh, Cuomo wasn't complaining about that at all. He said, that's your call. You oh, there was also a Cuomo uh, news conference between he and a number of uh, news news mm -hmm. uh, people. Yeah, uh, reporters. he does that all the time. Although this one, he started yelling. At oh, the yeah. Report. No, he did, because the guy asked him a question in a very kind of negative way, you know, kind of a snarky way. And and let's face it, Cuomo's a guy from Queens. He ain't going to take crap from nobody. Kind of like Trump. Huh? Kind of like Trump. No, not kind of like Trump. Trump is the sissy from Queens who had a very privileged life, who acts like he's a thug, but he really doesn't know how to be one. Oh, uh, well, yeah. that's fine. 
uh, you know, uh, I'm, the Bellaz, uh, uh, Cuomo isn't isn't uh, uh, isn't thuggish, but he won't take crap from anyone. It's just the way he is, and that's what we love about him. Well, you know. uh, the other good things in the news today yeah. is looks like there are more votes for Trump in Georgia. Uh, they're they're finding them uh, in in backyards. They're finding them oh, in the hay come fields. On. Come on, come and, on. Come I on. think he has uh, G- give pulled, it, pulled about two thousand. Give uh, it up. Give it up. Biden's going to take Georgia anyway. He may, but no matter what they say, they found. But where, I don't know where you're getting your news sources from. Everything we've heard is is that as they've been counting, recounting the votes in Georgia because it was a mandatory recount. Right. Uh, nothing has changed. Well, I have figured out how I can help Donald Trump. What by by. I have- I have a uniform, mm-hmm. and I want to be one of those vote counters down in Georgia. So yeah. in order to look like all the guys in Georgia, yeah. I just go like this. Yeah, right. <laughs> say, I want to count the votes. Hey, if you went down there with those teeth, you'd probably win for senator in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, don't believe that stuff necessarily, Phil. What's happening is, is that for the most part— did you hear about Trump with Wisconsin? That he, uh, he, yeah, he wanted a recount. Want recount, and they said, well, you got to come up with $9,700 or something like that for the recount, because in that state they make the people who are asking for the recount if it's not within a certain limit to pay for it. So the Trump campaign couldn't come up with the 9000 so they're giving them two, uh, uh, t- excuse me, not can't come up with the, uh, what is it, $9 million. Nine point oh. two million, they they can only come up with two million, so they're just doing two counties, and they're doing um, two counties that are primarily Democratic. You know, I mean, it's really stupid. Well, the, you know, but that's where the fraud Phil, Phil, might. Let be. me let me just ask you this: Come on, and be be honest with us. Huh? Who's going to be inaugurated on the twentieth of January? Uh. I was hoping I would. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, come on, come on. Uh, it, it, it's a pretty good chance that yeah. uh, that Donald Trump is not going to be uh, <laughs> in the White House on, on that day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. You know, we know that to be true. And even if he discounts Georgia as an example, there's mm-hmm. still enough votes there and electoral college votes to put Biden into office. He could also discount Wisconsin. And there'd still be enough. You know, yeah. So well, uh, people I mean, are uh, saying if, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And, you know, uh, Al Gore wanted a recount. Uh, Stacey Abrams. Yeah, but, no, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. But in Al Gore's case, it was a different situation altogether. Uh, there were 500 votes in Florida. I think that demands a recount. OK. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I don't think he was being pissy about it. That was going to be the make it or break it state. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was so close to call that he was, you know, questioning this. Um, but, uh, you know, I just think that uh, the Trump, if he would just want to do the country a favor, would say, OK, I'm out of here. You know, he's out of uh, there anyway. He hasn't been doing any work, hasn't had anything on his schedules for like two weeks. Well, uh, he's uh, he's dealing with the uh, covid. He, uh, oh, he's uh, no, he's giving himself a personal pity party. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, hey, if it was my last month or so to ride around in uh, Air Force One and, you know, uh, you know, get all those uh, perks uh, that the president gets, I'd be doing it, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just wondering when he's going to start pardoning people. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing who he does pardon. Who he does pardon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it won't be Hunter Biden, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, I sent you something on that Section 230. Yeah, 230 is... Uh, it, it's, 1997 it, uh, statute. Yeah, uh, and I'm trying to remember exactly. What, what did it say again? It, uh, it, it, it had to do with uh, uh, responsibility on the Internet, Facebook, Twitter. Oh, yeah, and... yeah. What it was was they, they relieved them of any responsibility right. because they considered them a, a new media and a different kind of media. And, you know, my feeling is on, on these guys, whether you like them or not, they built these companies from scratch. Okay, mm-hmm. gr- gr- you'll grant me that. I mean, Facebook, what was it? It was 500 kids, you know, and now it look at how many millions of people. 
Um, Billions. They have a right to do with their site what they want to. They can censor people, refuse to let people on, do whatever they want to. They could say tomorrow, uh, we don't want the name Trump on our uh, on Facebook. If you use the name Trump, we'll, they I, they should be able to do that if they want to, and you should be able to not use Facebook. Yes, but you know you're a First Amendment proponent, right? But the, it, it, First Amendment does not apply to what we would call a uh, a billboard. It's a different kind of media. In other words, if you're talking about, to begin with, governmentally sanctioned, sanctioned organizations like radio stations, for instance, to get their licenses from the government, then you got a different story altogether. Okay. In this case, you know, the uh, if Twitter doesn't want to uh, have a certain kind of speech on their on their sites, uh, they have a right to do that. I think. They did, and, and they and, do. And I don't, the, I don't know. The Republicans are the ones who are always saying, "Well, you know, they have the right of blah 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 blah." And we, we want, we, we don't want anybody to tell a business what to do, except us when we tell Facebook that they have to be nicer to Trump. The Republicans <laughs> you know? that are censored. Huh? It's uh, you know it, when the uh, I don't when think the so. Ayatollah Khomeini yeah. comes down with all sorts of uh, anti. Uh, uh, Semitic remarks. Yeah. Uh, even though he is Semitic, I guess. Uh, the, the, he comes down with all these anti Semitic remarks. Those remarks are not singled out by Twitter or Facebook. Only remarks that lean to uh, the president or, or conservative remarks. And there are many, many people that have been kicked off or, or censored on Facebook. Uh, because of uh, remarks that were right leaning. Well, I don't. I don't believe that to be true. To be honest with you, I think they were they were cut off for other reasons. Guys like Alex Jones, who were just pro proselytizing lies like crazy. Okay, I'm not talking about big platforms like Alex Jones. I'm talking about you know regular guys. Well, na name me a case. Uh, well, there's a, a couple of friends of mine on Facebook that were cops. And uh, they got 30 day uh, censures, uh, they, you know, uh, from Facebook. Why? I don't mention their why? names. What, but, but why? What did they do? Well, they posted uh, right leaning uh, information. It wasn't uh, wasn't anything that was uh, inflammatory. Mm -hmm. It just, uh, you know, maybe it was, uh, you know, uh, some facts that, you know, they believe to be true. And uh, they posted them and uh, they ended up. Uh, getting uh, uh, put in Facebook jail for 30 days. Facebook jail. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, all I'm saying is, is that I just, uh, I I, uh, I think it's a big kerfuffle. I mean, what are you going to say? That uh, they're going to bring uh, the heads of uh, Pauler in um, to uh, to question them about why they won't uh, let the Democrat, you know, uh, liberal voices speak on their site? I think they have a right to put on their site what they want to put on their site. Just that's, like... That's just like I have the right to put people on this program I don't want to put on this program. Uh, no, you don't, because you put me on. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I put you on, and uh, God knows how much trouble you've gotten me into. I've, uh, I imagine some of the demonetization that I've gotten is because of you. I don't curse. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me ask you this, though. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at this whole situation now uh, with Trump. Don't you kind of wish he would just concede or if he does if he's too proud to concede at least just let biden's people have some information on on covid and have some and be have access to the information that they need in order to do a seamless transition of power on the 13th of december mm -hmm. when uh biden gets certified mm -hmm. uh i feel that at that point that yes trump should concede and help uh, with the transition of power, but, yeah. but until until Biden is um, uh, what do you call it? And until he is certified, uh, he hasn't been. Uh, he hasn't won, right. and well, and Trump is perfectly within his rights. Well, he you, to, you could say he's perfectly within right his rights, end. but no, I will I will argue with you. He's not perfectly within his rights. The fact of the matter is that transitions in the past have always been the day after the guy gets elected, the first thing he gets is a debriefing from the CIA. He gets the daily briefing that the president gets. 
everything that he would need. Uh, and, and usually he's invited to the White House. We don't expect that out of Trump. He's, uh, uh, you know, given all kinds of, of things and a welcome and congratulations. You know, there's, you know, there's yet, coming. there's yet to be a single, I think, Republican senator who has congratulated Biden. Uh, really? I thought um, no. uh, Mitt Romney would have. No. Nope. Uh, uh, I, I know that he was called by Macron of France, and I know he's not. that's not a Republican senator. No, but, but Macron is a little cookie, isn't it? Uh, a macaroon. Oh, that's a macaroon. Excuse <laughs> and, me. And, and, you know, those are coming up for uh, Hanukkah. Are they really? Uh, oh, okay. Anyway, oh, you know, you got 46 p uh, people viewing on oh, your... Yeah, yeah, you're very popular. I like this. I may, I may do my opening my show every night with you, you know. Hey, you know, it's I like... Ju I just want to protect the rest of the people on the show from you. Instead of uh, Tuesdays with Moray, yeah. Maury, yeah. it uh, Tuesdays with Phil. Unless he can't get in, unless my situation doesn't break down. You know, two nights in a row, mm -hmm. I had major technical problems. One of them on Friday the 13th. Go figure. Okay. And that was GoDaddy uh, uh -huh. having problems? or uh, it, uh, No, that was uh, my server over here, which serves mm -hmm. out the programming and stuff. Just the whole thing went sideways. Not uh, the Mac and, Mini. That's the Mac. That's you, not my you, The Mac, Mac Mini. Yeah. Yeah. My old it wasn't. The, yeah. But it's, it wasn't the Mac Mini's fault. It was the fault uh, of shifting over. It, it's a long story. But anyway, okay. so I had a problem that night. And I just didn't go on because I had to take care of the problem. Last yeah. night, GoDaddy goes down. The whole company, the whole thing goes down. Everybody's got a website on GoDaddy. There are thousands of people who have websites on GoDaddy. Yeah. Nothing. Mail, nothing. Okay, wow. everything that they were serving out, nothing. And I sat here, and what do, you, what do I do? I'm like, I'm like, well, you would be. First, I blame myself. Okay, it must, be, it must be my fault the mail isn't working. I didn't right. think, it's probably, it's probably Go, GoDaddy. After I went off the air and then I did a lot of research going from machine to machine, I suddenly realized that only two of my mail servers were down. Then I went to go look at, uh, at GabNet, and it wasn't online. So I, I knew what it was. But, you know, and then I tried to go on. I went on and I did a Facebook video uh, from this other machine here, uh, and uh, then decided uh, I, nobody was calling because it was just too late, and yeah. nobody was expecting me over there. So I just went off and I, I went into the bedroom and laid down. You know, yeah. oh, probably a good thing. I'm more well, tired all the time. I, you know, I, uh, I, I may get down to I, doing the show one day a week on Tuesdays with you. No, yeah. what? This might be a temporary thing. If what I read uh, this morning about the prostate cancer and the radiation mm -hmm. uh, and uh, being tired and having brain fog uh, mm -hmm. and uh, lack of uh, lack of short term memory, I, I know that that comes with age, but it also yeah. is exacerbated by the uh, the radiation. Well, listen, uh, I want to thank you because look at the amount of people who are watching right now. That's, that's not quite a. Uh, it's not quite a, uh, what, what would you call it, a uh, your top, uh, but not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, I will uh, talk to you when we do this again next week. This is always Absolutely. fun to hear how you feel about what's going down, uh, you know, but. Uh, Maybe we'll get closer to seeing uh, Biden riding in uh, Air Force One. And by the way, I think you're going to like Biden as president. Oh, uh, one other thing. Yeah. Uh, I. I need you to send me a Ronnie picture because I couldn't pull anything off of her site. Oh, okay. I am doing a GoFundMe, which I will fund with not only the loss that uh, I had to Robert, yeah. but I'll uh, put more in on my own and try to get a few dollars towards cancer research in Ronnie's well, that'd name. That would be very nice, Phil. Very nice of you. But yeah, then again, you're a nice guy anyway. You know, well, what can thank I say? you very much. Anyway, wave goodbye to everybody. Bye, okay. everybody. There he goes, folks. You know, one acceptable way we've seen to have Phil on this show now. Bye, Phil. Bye. <laughs> okay. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, that's uh, Phil, and uh, he's our uh, our uh, our resident uh, whatever. <laughs> he just simply is. Okay. Anyway, I let's see here. We have some people 
who are ready to come on here. Let me see here. Uh, uh, Robert Natali, let me see here. Here they go. There we go. There are our first three. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Natali and, oh, uh, excuse me, and Charlie Wallace is waiting to come on here. Um, oh, boy, my eyes are burning today. It's another one of those days. Yeah. Uh, I give up on it. Uh, let me see here. Oh, okay, and Jeff Stein's coming. Let's admit him to it. And uh, how y'all doing, huh? Good. Good. Haven't seen Good. you in a while. Yeah. Uh, man, I've had... Monday was fine. Huh? Yeah, Monday was Monday, fine. Well, Monday, we did our little Monday show, and that was fine. But, you know, I do that from another machine, and I do that directly on the Facebook, and it doesn't involve... It really doesn't involve GoDaddy at all in any way, shape, or form. So, you know, uh, but uh, I, I had a lot of trouble with uh, last night. That was just, you know. And when I've got it like my mail isn't working or something isn't working, I find it hard to do a program and worry about why that isn't working, you know. And then on top of it, it wasn't putting up my website where, where the video of this show is found, you know, as well. So that's the reason we weren't on last night, and, you know. But uh, I know my eyes have been burning all day again. They stopped burning, and now they're burning again. And I really wish I could get that operation, but I, I can't because I'm just, the, the, the numbers are getting too high here in New York for me to do anything. I'm afraid to go out the front door. As I told you yesterday, some guy was yelling at, uh, at a salesperson right next to me at another cash machine in at CVS, and spitting and talking and everything but I, he wasn't doing it in my direction so I think I'm safe and I have my mask on so they say the mask the mask protects you both ways right Brian yeah yeah and you can imagine that remember it say it don't spray it yeah. remember that saying say it don't spray it yeah so yeah yes. yep 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 so anyway uh, but here in New York I mean we had 36 deaths yesterday <laughs> that's not good you know it's getting, it's getting bad. It's bad over New Jersey, isn't it, Robert? Yes, it is. I mean, how bad? Do you know? You got any numbers on it? Um, no, it's I really bad. don't, except in my hometown. it's um, We've become something of a hot spot. There's a facility, a uh, senior facility here in town, mm -hmm. and uh, 53 people are at the very least quarantined, if not tested positive. So wow, um, that just adds to numbers that had been rising now for about a month anyway. <sighs> it's terrible. And it, it, it's uh, what, what really gets to me are these, these governors who are now saying, oh, everybody better stay indoors. I don't think your governor's done it yet. Has he, Charlie? No, he hasn't. Ha Abbott hasn't done anything, and yet your infection nope. rate is as high as it almost is anywhere in the country. I think the highest, right. the highest infection rate anywhere in the country, where would you think it is, folks? Any South idea? South Dakota. South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Or was yeah. it North Dakota? No, it was South Dakota? South, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. When are they going to make them one state? <laughs> <laughs> they're enjoying the four senators. Yeah, yeah. they're enjoying California, the too. Yeah, but I mean... Uh, uh, it is, it, it's got the highest, it's got something like 49% infection rate. That means one out of every two people has it in South Dakota. Jeez. Yeah. One, out of tested. one out of every two tested. Yeah. Tested. Tested. Yeah. That are right. tested. Yeah. yeah. There's but, a difference. Yeah. Stop testing. Yeah. You, yeah, that's you know, if you stop does, testing, you don't test anybody. Yeah. then you don't know exactly. Yeah. yeah that's so right. We are purple. We are purple. Oh, we oh. are purple tier now. So they, yeah, you know, so they had, uh, they were talking about the schools reopening in January if we were still orange or yeah. yellow. Yeah. And then there's red and then there's purple. I didn't know. I didn't know purple. there was purple. We don't go <laughs> into purple. I thought we were okay. But um, yeah, so then we went into, California went into purple. What does purple mean? In that area, you just have to hold your breath all the time <laughs> till you turn yeah. purple? Yeah, so, so we're all purple now, except for like San, yeah, San Francisco, San Mateo County. They're red, but it doesn't yeah. matter. They're all surrounded by water or, or purple. So, well, your progeny aren't going to school, right? 
Yeah, they they say December they'll make the 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 decision, but they're going to make the decision on that tier, and and I don't. There's no way. I don't know if they did it to really tell everybody to stay at home for Thanksgiving. I don't know if they pushed that out and said, "Hey, we're we're purple, so everybody stay home except for unless you're the governor." Um, but you know, everybody else don't do these big crowded Thanksgiving events. Well, uh, you know, I think that if it's, you know, you can have Thanksgiving in your home with your family because they're all in the bubble. Uh, I'm going to do it with some people I know because I know where they've been and what they've done. You know, it's kind of like, uh, uh, it's kind of like the old days with AIDS, you know, you just don't have sex with anybody. You don't know where they've been because you're having sex with everybody they've been with. Which mm. I kind of like that idea because it upped my numbers, but you know. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think it's kind of just terrible what these some of these governors did, and now they're yeah. they're backtracking. Now they're going, we got to close everything down. Well, you know, if they cl- done all this earlier, we wouldn't be where we are right now. But yeah. they and they none of them want to admit that. <laughs> you know, none of them say, "Whoops, my bad." You know, and least of all, of course, Donald Trump won't admit anything. He doesn't even talk about COVID anymore. No. Except to say, look, I invented the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. He did. Yeah. He did, sure. I mean, <laughs> come on. You know, I mean, believe me, he had nothing to do with the development of the vaccine, even though, for instance, in the case of Moderna, they, they were part of the warp speed thing. But all of these companies were looking for the cure for the uh, vaccine. And the reason they were looking for the vaccine is so you know you didn't, you, you didn't have to convince them to go out and try and find a vaccine. They no. were on it probably last March. It was just like the testing, you know. Yeah. We've been doing this for, for 20 years, and we wait for this moment for any kind of infectious disease to pop up and we attack it. And then we, you know, we do the testing for it. And that's exactly like all these other companies. They sit around with these things. And then all of a sudden, when there's a chance to make a vaccine, you know, we say we do good for, you know, the good for the world too, but, um, but there's, you know, we're private company. we got to make money too. Well, by the way, Phil, if you're watching, look at the number. It's gone higher than when you were on tonight. So anyway, um, does that work well with Phil? I think so. I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, I, yeah. think, I think it, it works. works well. I think it works yeah. really well. Yeah. 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 You guys hit a lot of topics, so that's good. And also, when I'm with him alone, we're a lot more civil with each other, you know? And then when, when I. When I'm with him alone, we don't talk politics at all. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because I've seen we've had some car things like these cruises or these donations. We do a lot of donation charity work stuff. Mm-hmm. So I've seen a couple guys and I, and they like deleted me from Facebook because of Trump and at the shows they're Oh, how you doing? How's the family? And, you know, mm-hmm. so, uh, you know, I, I just wish everybody would get along. You know, yeah. I, it, it's, I hope if Biden can't do anything else, God knows he's got a lot on his plate. You know, I, I would not want to be the next president of these United States. But if, if there's anything that I hope he can do, it's maybe tone down the rhetoric, get get a little more civilized discourse going on. Maybe even have a couple of Republican senators who don't go, we're not going to do anything for you, but try to cooperate and try to, you know, compromise. Hey, did uh, you hear Biden? I think it must have been today. Um, I've been not watching too much news, but I think it was today. And he was talking, you know, saying, you know, people who didn't vote for me, you know, ask them, what are their concerns? You know, and, and and that's what he wants everybody to do to see, you know, what are their true concerns? You know, other than blasting everything that they do on Facebook and stuff. But what is their concern? Because they always say, oh, they're going to take our guns. And they say stupid stuff like that, which none of that happens. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, you know, I mean, uh, for instance, Jeff. What what if you if Biden asked you what's your main concern? What would your main concern be? Well, my big concern today, mm-hmm. I think, would be that people are getting sick all over the place. Yeah, and I mean the president that we have 
won't admit to it. Well, you know, it, it, it's interesting that you ask any older people, any older person, what their main concern is, and they'll probably say COVID. Yep. I don't know if you would get that out of a 35-year-old, you know. But, hey, everybody, all you kids out there, we're second on the list for the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I mean, for me and Phil and other people who are this age, mm -hmm. it's one thing to be concerned about it when you're living at home and, and you got your wife, whatever, and you're very cautious and this and that. Mm -hmm. A lot of these older people who we know who are now all by themselves and they live in one of these, uh, I don't know what you call us, like, you know, 65 plus mm -hmm. places that all live in the same place. Mm -hmm. And they're all sick because they all connect it. Yeah. Yeah. And they can't get they can't get off of it. Can't get off of what? Out of the fact that they have COVID. Well, I mean, but did they survive it? Are you saying they survived it? They're surviving it, but they can't even go outside. They're they're like they're like jammed in the room. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it, um, hopefully this vaccine will work. I mean, I, the Moderna thing seems really promising. <laughs> Because it's 90, what is it, 95% did they say, or maybe higher than that? Somebody uh, asked me if I would take it. I said, you better believe it. I'll oh, I'll, it. I'll be right there. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it seems to be a better fit than the Pfizer thing, because the Pfizer thing, uh, you have to bring in ice from the Arctic in order to just keep <laughs> the thing cool enough, you know? A and um, so that's a major problem. Mm. Yeah, because then hospitals, nursing home, whatever they're doing, however they're administering, that's that they have to be ready for that. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's not uh, not a, you know, uh, it, it, but with the Moderna, I think it just has to be refrigerated, right? It's not any any big deal. And all these pharmacies and stuff have that kind of refrigeration available. The only sub-zero freezing that they have anywhere, I think, are hospitals have them available um but uh, you know uh it, 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 it once that starts being distributed once we get to a certain point of a certain amount of the population having been inoculated i think uh we're going to start seeing that herd immunity kick in okay but we won't see it anytime soon with just people getting sick yes charlie yeah, I think in the Moderna vaccine, too, you only have to take once, whereas the uh, Pfizer, you have to do it twice. I heard right. somewhere you had to take it twice, but maybe I'm mistaken. You oh. know, there's so much information running around, Yeah, you know, uh, but the Moderna seems to be, to me, the best fit, you know. Um, have you heard anything about this, Brian, about these Various no, the same, same as everybody else has heard. Yeah, you don't get any yeah. inside information because all you do are the testing mm -hmm. kits, which look like yeah. this. Uh, and the but it was funny because first I think it was um, Pfizer went to ninety percent, and then then or was it Moderna went to ninety, and then Pfizer was ninety four. No, Pfizer was ninety percent, and then, and then, said, and then it was, Moderna yeah. was ninety five. So now Pfizer says, "Oh, we've revised our." Uh, our estimates, mm -hmm. yeah, and we found it to be blah blah blah. You know, yeah, it was yeah ninety four. Moderna was ninety four point five percent. Yeah, and then Pfizer came back and said, "Oh yeah, now we're ninety five percent." Okay, so great. So now I line up at the local CVS and I get this vaccine, and now ninety five percent effective in terms of me not getting sick. But what no one can answer me is, can I give it to my son? Hmm. What, you know, can I give it to the next door neighbor who maybe refuses to get the vaccine or somebody who thinks well, that no, this you is mean, I mean, because you, because you no, because you, no. you don't have it and you don't just because you're not showing symptoms doesn't mean you don't have it. But no, you no, no. What you're it. thinking of is you get the shot and then you you've got it. 
And that's not really what happens here. They're not giving you a live virus. No, In I fact, understand this isn't even, that, but from what I understand, this isn't even a virus. This is some kind of manufactured uh, antibody. Um, but I don't think having the antibody in your body would then make you have to necessarily give it to somebody else. It's not, when you get a flu shot, you don't go out and yeah. give everybody else the flu, do you? I I don't know that. Do you? No, I know that. I, I don't know that. They wouldn't be giving I, us a flu shot if they thought that all we would do would be super spreaders once we got the vaccination. I uh, don't know works. that. I know that the vaccine keeps me from feeling the symptoms. What mm -hmm. I don't know is if I touch shit all over the place, yeah. if perhaps I'm spreading it to other people. Well, I don't know that. It's not good to st touch shit anyway. Uh, yes, Charlie. <laughs> No, vaccines don't mask the symptoms of the disease. The vaccine right. actually keeps you from getting the disease. You right. don't have the disease to spread it to anybody because the vaccine won't let the disease live in your body. Okay. Even if you don't have symptoms, right? Yeah. Okay. It's not like you have a case with no symptoms. You don't exactly. Have and you can spread it. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, did you happen to watch anybody? I'll tell you what happened was on... Uh, Every, every Saturday, Josh and Kevin and Patrick and I get together, and we just sit around and talk to each other on Zoom. It, it, no show, nothing like that. And what we were doing the other night was we turned on C-SPAN, and we were watching the Million MAGA March in Washington, D.C. It wasn't a million people to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's more people than ever showed up in Washington for anything, you know. Anyway, um, we watch these, can I say morons, <laughs> uh, giving speeches and talk and doing all their marching and everything, and just spreading in, uh, just complete misconception of everything, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and, uh, you know, we, they say, well, you know, it says, give us our votes back. We don't want you stealing our votes. Okay, tell me. How and where they were stolen. Mm -hmm. Okay? No, if you think that somebody voting for Biden is stealing a vote for Trump, in an aesthetic way, yes. <laughs> but in a practical way, it, it, you're not stealing votes from them. Okay? So don't even begin to give me that. But tell me how that those votes were stolen. I mean, to begin with, What's that? I was at the gym and I had to take a picture of this. Oh yeah, yeah. Can you see it? What? What is it? So it's it's somebody at the protest, and this is on Fox because I tell you, Fox and Fox and uh, the other one are right next to CNN, right next to each other. There's a sign at that the million million person march. It said, "Trump, make America great again. Banned homo marriage. Ban homo marriage. Homo marriage. A big sign." Walking with all the people. Mm. Does he, do they mean by that that it shouldn't be mixed races? <laughs> homo is also <laughs> short for homogenization. No homogenized. <laughs> yeah. Homogenized. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that that's the kind of bravery that these guys have out there. It's like unbelievable. Well, no, they it, think that they can walk around with a sign like that? Well, I, yeah. I mean, and, and they probably don't even believe the sign they wrote. They're just trying to be aggravating, yeah. you know. But we watched this thing, and we were just we were just sitting here vamping on them. It's, it's two hours of us having. I wish we I broadcast the damn thing. It was just funny the way we were reacting to the picture, uh, you know. Uh, and and I just you know I just um, I just think that it's. Uh, it's amazing that the the just the stupidity of these people. I mean, I'm not saying they're stupid because they voted for Trump. They're stupid because of the signs they were carrying and the thoughts they were, in, 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 you know, uh, in, in, enveloped in. I mean, it was just amazing how bad things were. And 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 along this on the subject of stupid, mm -hmm. 
the only job for which I would hire Rudy Giuliani. Oh, yes, that's another one. dollars a day. $20,000 a day. the job was to give me $21,000 a day. Yeah. That'd be the only job I could think of where I might pay him that much. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, this is the other thing is that he's charging. Who's he charging? Trump? Or the yeah. Demo Republican yeah. Party. Yeah. He's charging Trump, or well, then he's never going to get paid. No, he's not yeah. going to get paid anyway, but think it over. He's charging Trump $20,000 a day. And supposedly he went into a court of law today and was so bad at it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't see it, but they say he was just so bad at it. He didn't know who the people were there. He had no yeah. concept of the situation. You know, he was just in there going, we want, we want, we want a recount. We want, we want all the Democratic votes thrown out. Yeah. Ah, oh, God. Is there anybody else out there this morning, by the way, or this afternoon, or this evening? When are, when is this? Uh, who want to call? Because you can go over to GabNet, and over on the right-hand side of the page, you can click on where it says click here to join us on Zoom. And then it will take you right here, and then I just admit you, and you're you don't need. I don't think you even have the pro have to have the program installed, if I'm not mistaken. No, you know. Thanks, sir. Uh, so uh, give us a give us a call. I don't I don't know I don't know where John is these days. Uh, he hasn't been here for. But then again, I haven't been here for two days. So there you, you know, there there's where everybody's gonna probably not tuning in tonight because they're going. Well, he's probably not going to show up tonight, so I'm not going to call. You know. Did, did, Phil your... make his, did Phil make his donation to American Cancer yet? No, what he's going to do is he's going to take the money and start a GoFundMe page in Ronnie Bennett's name. Uh, 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 what are we funding? Uh, we're funding a, for, for contributions in her name to the American Cancer Society. I see. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I think it's very nice of him to do. Mm -hmm. And and I think it's a way for him to spend the twenty bucks, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, yeah, and we'll let you know when that is, folks, and then you can all go over there and give money to. Be happy to. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you have particular uh, feeling for the American Cancer Society for some reason, uh, Robert. No, no, no. It was it was an idea so that we didn't have to worry about exchanging money. Oh, okay, and, so you could have come up with any organization. Well, Ronnie had. had just passed, and frankly, my original thought was in your name, Phil's name, and Vernon's name, mm -hmm. because you were all cancer survivors. And then Ronnie passed, and it became a logical outcome. You know, I. It's funny. I don't think of myself as a cancer survivor. Yeah, okay. indeed you are. Uh, I am, but... Yeah, I know. Y you know, I, it wasn't like I had... I didn't have pancreatic cancer like she had, okay? That's having cancer. Mm -hmm. I didn't have lung cancer like some people get. That's cancer. Prostate cancer at my age, if you live long enough, you're going to get prostate cancer. That's all there is to it. This is a mm -hmm. luck of the draw. So, you know, I got it. They did what they had to do. I have zero PSA right now. Maybe it won't stay that way. Maybe all of a sudden it will flare up. They say sometimes after about a year or something, there's a flare up. But, I mean, I just don't think of myself as a survivor of cancer because I think that demeans all the people who truly survived cancer. All I did was sit under a machine while they radiated me and then uh, I went in for another operation, and they stuck some seeds in my prostate, and I was good to go. Goodbye. I haven't talked to my doctor since. You know, I I talked to his nurse once because I went down to get the, all the tests that I had to have after the fact. But but that's you know. But anyway, so I, I guess it could just be us tonight. Uh, so I've got to think about. I got to keep coming up with things for us to talk about. Um, the, talking about Lindsey Graham uh, breaking the law. Yeah, with yeah. Uh, talking to well, who do he call the Attorney General? The, uh, the uh, Secretary of State of Georgia. Oh, Secretary of State of Georgia. And what are you he telling him that is there any way he could uh, throw out valid votes for Biden? Mm -hmm. And now he all kinds of election laws. He said that wasn't what he did. 
But yeah. the, the yeah. Secretary I of State says that, no. That's what the Secretary of State says he did. Yeah. Yep. You know. And he's a Republican too. Yes, he is. And there are other witnesses to the call. Oh boy. Mind what? you, though, on the floor of the Senate, he walked over and fist bumped Kamala Harris. I'm thinking yeah. to myself, there's a man that's playing both sides of the street. Yeah. <laughs> so well. He gets so little few opportunities to touch a, a woman. So, Maybe. you know, <laughs> that, that could be the reason why. How do you think Kamala is going to do? As, Just fine. As a vice president. Yeah. I think she's going to be terrific. I think she'll yeah, be good. fine. Now, the big question is, if something happened to Joe, could you see her being president? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, like I said bef at the very beginning of all this, Joe will have the right people in place. Mm -hmm. He's already started that with a lot of his picks. Yeah. And uh, he's showing that, that he's taking this seriously. I mean, right out the gate, he, you know, so, yeah, yeah I, I feel very confident. You know what I think is in Kamala's, uh, what I think is an advantage to her is the fact that Joe was once a vice president. And therefore, he realizes that in that job, you can very, very quickly get lost. You know, the old Mark, uh, Mark Twain story about the two brothers that were born. One uh, ran away to sea, and the other became vice president of the United States, and neither one has been heard from since. <laughs> yeah, that's well, I, true, huh? <laughs> I, I think, here's what Biden did with Obama. He, when Obama said, will you run with me? He said, I'll only run with you if, you, if when you become president, I am in the room for every major decision, mm -hmm. and I'm the last person you ask about it. Yep. You know, and Obama agreed to that. And I think Biden knows the advantage to that. Yeah. And I think he's going to give her the same privilege. Yep. And he's going to make sure that she's relevant, you know, that yeah. she's being given th things to be in charge of yeah. that make her relevant. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. been there. Well, I don't think he's going to you know, put her in charge of the Naval Observatory. You know. No, absolutely not. By no. the way, is that a Naval Observatory to this day? That's where the Vice President lives, by the way, folks, in case you yeah. don't know. That other building? No, it's not the other building. It's all the way. It's somewhere else, like in, I don't even think it's in Washington, D.C. I think it's in Virginia or something. I, I don't know where it is exactly. Um, wait a minute, let me look it up here. I can I can look things up because there's a thing called the intranet. Have you heard of this? And the Naval Observatory. Hmm. Oops. Yeah, it's another building. Huh? Yeah, the vice president has his own residence. He doesn't live in the White House. No, but it's a Naval Observatory. It yeah. It is the Naval Observatory. That I know. Okay, where is He's it? bumping his head on the telescope. Uh, uh, observatory, yeah, right. Who lives at the Naval Observatory? Number one observatory circle is the official residence of the Vice President of the United States, located in the northeast grounds of the U.S. Naval Observatory in Washington, D.C. Okay, I was wrong about where it was. The house was built in 1893 for its superintendent. <laughs> so he's going to be living in the superintendent's house. Uh, uh, that's fun. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go along with that. That sounds fine. Um, but, but what about Trump? Trump trying to start a nuclear war with Iran before he leaves the White House. Oh, let's let's talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I said that I was worried that <laughs> Trump would try to do everything he could to fuck up everything before he yeah. left office. You know, to leave the house of shambles. It's kind of like the person who gets evicted and before they leave the apartment, they rip everything apart before they leave and then say. Screw you, it's your problem. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Who's this? I'll bet this is, I'll bet this is, uh, 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 oh, it's, look, Kevin. Kevin. How are you, Kevin? You look fine. How are you? Yeah, did you write me last night to say you were having trouble with GoDaddy? <laughs> yeah, it was me texting you. Yeah, because yeah, it said, you know, I get things occasionally on Facebook that say, maybe Kevin. And I, oh yeah, that was that was a text. Yeah, did you do it? From, did you do it from another machine than you normally do your texts from? 
It was for my phone. Oh, okay. So that's probably why it goes. Maybe Kevin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I didn't know, but you were having trouble too, getting. Yeah, because I my my email started going wacko, and then I looked on the when I went to sign in here, I went to the Gabnet, and the Gabnet was going wacko. So I went and checked my email, and it was screwed up. So I went to GoDaddy, and all the client was screwed up. And then I went to that downtime dot com or whatever it was. Oh, so you have your email account through GoDaddy? Yeah, I got yeah. all my stuff through there, and I got a couple domains through there, too. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, I, yeah. but what did you do? You did like me, right? The first thing you did was blame yourself. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> something screwed up here. Yeah. You what know, am I doing wrong? How many times have we had things go bad, and it was them, not us? But we yeah. always say, it must be me. I must be yeah, doing exactly. something wrong. You know? What did I do? Why is all of a sudden is... See, when... I go, I go apoplectic if my mail isn't working because that's almost my yeah. lifeline at this point, you know? Well, it's recently because uh, GoDaddy also went to Outlook. They changed their platform. Oh, they so they've to... changed, they changed to, to Outlook. They went from uh, whatever that platform they were on, they went to Outlook. So if you go to look at your, uh, your email from you know, from the GoDaddy platform, uh -huh. you'll see it's all different. Really? I, I went to mine and it wasn't. But then again, I'm using a different program. I Maybe they haven't migrated you yet. No, I'm using Plesk. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know what the hell it was before, but it was some weird platform they were using. Yeah, this but is it the all same went one. to Outlook. Oh, really? Yeah. I think Hotmail and, went there too, right? MSN, huh? like a couple of years ago, I think. Hotmail? Yeah, MSN, Hotmail did too, yeah. MSN went to Outlook also, yep. yeah. Yeah. Yep. So now I only got one notification from my Hotmail stuff. Now I get about 50 of them every day because my my Kevtin went up haywire. Yeah. You know, all my and my other my other domains. Well, you know what? You know what? I got first of all earlier this week. I got a thing saying someone tried to sign on to uh, um, your. Uh, what was it? I can't remember what uh, uh, what site it was. Uh, it was something not important, but um, I, I'm trying to remember what it was. But they said from Kuala Lumpur. Well, I'm not in Kuala Lumpur. It'll always say that if I use another machine I haven't used yet or whatever. But it said if you didn't sign on, it, this is not you signing on. So I had to change my password Yeah, where I went. And then last night I got one. It said somebody from somewhere else tried to sign on to Spotify. Now, apparently they didn't. Oh, I know. The first one was my Sony account for my Sony PlayStation and stuff like that. So I went in and changed it all. Okay. And I even did two-factor uh, yeah. uh, whatever, which I hate to do. But I did it for that because that one, somebody could go in and buy all kinds of games and stuff like that. And before they're gone, I've spent a thousand dollars, and then I got to sort it out with uh, Sony, and uh, you know. But apparently, I went on there and I looked to see for purchases, and nobody tried to purchase anything, so they probably didn't get on. They could have been fishing, trying to find, you know, check yeah, it to see if it works. Yeah, you got to be careful that you change your password at the actual site, not through the email. Uh, oh right, no. I go went to the site. I went to the site and changed the yeah. password. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I went to uh, today. I had to go over to Spotify, and I changed that too, just so that nobody could get on there. But apparently they didn't get on. They just attempted, and that's what guy got. They wrote to me about. But I'm going. Wow, you know, uh, because I had heard that a while back there's a, co a company called One Two Three Photo or something. And I went there and I bought, okay, a, uh, a photo from them because I needed a photo of something in particular and I needed it for some graphics for the site. And so, so I bought it. And it turns out that that company got vandalized of 2 million accounts. So they're out selling that on the web somewhere. And I would imagine that some of my stuff got out there. I... I know the only password I, I know the only password I use there, so I've changed pretty much everything. Because uh, on uh, on Chrome, if you have it and you go to your passwords, it'll say, "Oh, X number of your passwords have been compromised." 
Okay. Uh, now that doesn't mean somebody's using them. It just means they, they, there's been some theft somewhere and whatever. And there were 40 of them. So I went through them the other day and got rid of all of them, changed everything, got rid of some of them. And, and I'm down to one that's compromised and I don't care. <laughs> okay. Yeah. On that one. Um, uh, <laughs> But somewhere along the line, somebody got my information, yeah, you know, and was trying. But the thing is, they tried two separate things. It wasn't like five or six people trying Sony Entertainment, you know, or trying Spotify. It was like Sony here, Spotify there. And I'm wondering how they figured out that I had anything to do with those particular sites. So it's the it's, dark web. It, it's, Has it's, anyone actually had their identity stolen? Well, as Larry Bubbles Brown says, uh, I don't mind if they do because then they'll have no life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it happened to me. It's a bitch. It yeah, really I've, is. I've been told, you know, by these companies to send you to say, you, you know, we've been, we've been hacked and your name may be on the list, but I've never had anything happen. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, I got in serious trouble. I had to, there was actually a court case. Um, I'll tell you one game that they ran that I thought was pretty ingenious yeah. at the time. This is back about 20 years ago. Um, we were living in a town home and regularly what would happen is the UPS people would just leave packages on our stoop. And so what they did was they apparently had my information they developed the phony credit card and they ordered a device from Apple and they knew that UPS would deliver it and leave it on my stoop. And I guess they figured out what hours I was at work. Wow. And they were hoping that they could show up and pick it up off my porch and voila, now they've got a brand new machine. What they didn't figure for was we were off that week because there's a week off in February <laughs> for fuel conservation. And mm -hmm. so I was home, brought the package in and said, what the fuck is this? I know I didn't order shit. Mm -hmm. I was getting stuff through the school system for free. So I wasn't ordering anything in those days. And I called Apple and then I had to go through the local police. I'll tell you this. The last people on earth that are going to help you in a situation like that are the local cops. Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't know what to do. They, they don't know what to do, and they consider the paperwork they're going to have to do for you nothing but a nuisance because yeah. they're frankly toothless where it comes to these isn't kinds this, of... Isn't this a federal crime because it could be considered interstate? It's tampering with the with mail, the among other things. In, in my case, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The other way, it actually happened twice within the same frame of time. I happened to be taking um, my son on sort of a college tour, and we were going all through Pennsylvania and looking at schools that he was considering. Mm -hmm. Well, when I got back home, my credit card called me up and said, were you in Pennsylvania last week? And I said, yes, indeed I was. Mm -hmm. And they said, were you also on the same day in California. <laughs> I said, no, I, obviously I was in one place, not the other. And the guy says, well, somebody spent a buck in a Home Depot. And I said, okay, here's what you need to know about me. If I pick up a hammer, it's six to five that I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> so if ever you see that I've spent money in Home Depot, I'm being held against my will. <laughs> <laughs> know what they, do you know what they do? They're pretty shrewd, these some bitches. What they do is they take a phony card with your name and your goods on it, mm -hmm. and they buy a pack of gum. And the reason why is they're testing to see if it works for a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, because if it fishing. works for a dollar, they come back a half hour later and they buy a big fucking 4K TV. Yep. yep. So oh, they man. caught the dollar and they said, wait a minute, how could this dude be in Pennsylvania and California on the very same, you know, within hours? Yeah. And that's how they caught the guy. They caught the guy in Las Vegas, of all places, and he was running a mill 
where it wasn't just me. There were like hundreds of, you know, compromised people. Mm-hmm. And uh, fortunately, it didn't cost me any money, but I had to, oh, man, it was a what do, What do they do, though? They find him then trying to use the card or whatever. Well, they, in they, this they know case, the ca- they could backtrack using cameras and so on and so forth they figured out and they also had a bust in las vegas and found my name and social security number among them and the bad part is you can go change your password but you can't go change your social security oh, nope. number that's the problem so once they've got a hold of that you're already you know you're vulnerable to now will the government change your Social security number, if you ask them no, to? They won't. They no. Will not. no, they will not. So how do they solve that problem? Well, in this case, like I said, they did a bust in Las Vegas and found my name among about 50. Mm-hmm. And they wanted me to fly out to Vegas to tell my story. But believe it or not, um, I wasn't going to be compensated for the time that I was going to be away from work. <laughs> So I said, I can't do that. You know, like my job kind of needs me. I'm yeah. I'm a semi big shot where I work. So I never wound up showing up at the trial, but I had to do this um, on the phone interview for about two hours. It was almost a deposition of sorts, you know. Yeah, the um, closest yeah. I ever came to that was I had a thing where I, I can't remember, I think maybe it was, was it PayPal? No, PayPal didn't get a hold of me. Somebody got a hold of me, and I found out that some kid in Hong Kong, what, I assume a kid, was using my um, credit card or my PayPal account, my PayPal account, to try and purchase some video games. And it was about about eighty dollars worth of video games. I guess they were trying a small amount, and then they try a larger amount later. And uh, as soon as I saw this, I called up uh, PayPal and I said, "Blah blah blah blah, put a stop on this. I won't pay that. And this looks like my identity has been stolen." I said, "Well, let's change your password, and uh, we will we will investigate this, and we'll get back to you." And they got back to me, and they. They reversed the charge and did not charge me for it. They took the loss, you know, which so now when I want to do a lot of payment on stuff, I'll use PayPal because I know that if if there's something wrong, they're good with it. You know, they're not bad with it. You know, but I mean, I'll give you another piece of advice. What you do is go to Experian or Transamerica, one of the three credit companies Mm -hmm. And put a freeze on credit checks. And then anytime, like you decide you're going to go buy a car or lease a car or you're going to redo your mortgage, mm-hmm. you can temporarily release that freeze and then put the freeze back on. Because people will try using your credit card information to sort of check you out and see what they can get away with. Yeah. And if the companies know you're frozen, they met immediately smell a rat and they'll block it for you. Well, yep. I'll, t- I'll tell you what I've had. I got that on mine. Yeah, mm-hmm. what I've had to do, what I've had to change over the years, for years, I mean, when I say years, I mean like 20 years, I use the same password. Mm. And I never got any problems with it, although I hear it's a very common password. No, it's not password one, two, three. <laughs> Uh, but it, it's a common password. password, but for some reason, in fact, we, we used to have uh, Miranda Janelle on this channel. And one night uh, we were doing the show and I said, well, I've been using the same password for so many years. And she says, is it something to do with blah, blah, blah? And she had most of it right. Hmm. And I said, how did you come up with that? She says, it's common. But I didn't think it was common. If I told you what it was, I'm not going to tell you what it is here. You would say, well, gee, that isn't exactly common. But she says it is. Hmm. Two two things I want to say about that, if I may. Yeah. In my last years with the Board of Education, I ran the email system. And it was 10,000 users. And I can't tell you how many people had their password on a stick, you know, like on a post-it attached to their fucking yeah. machine, <laughs> which is like, how stupid could you be? And you the second to- thing is be careful on Facebook. There are a lot of these things that like are quizzes. 
Uh -huh. um, what's your mother's maiden name? What's your favorite piece. color? Those yeah. are traps Copy to try to get right. possible right. password right. out of you. Don't play that shit. Right. Uh, but I, uh, I, I, uh, what I do is I have like uh, this thing on my Apple, on all my Apples, and it goes across all of them because it goes through the cloud. It's called Notes, and I put all my my uh, passwords in there. Right. Uh, and I don't know how easy that is for them to get a hold of, but I would imagine Apple does a lot of security measures to it's make encrypted. sure. It's encrypted. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, but I, I, I was using a password system. What's the company that I was using? Uh, and I still have it on here, Dashlane. But it, every time I would, you know, it just, uh, Dashlane became very annoying, you know? i just rather look it up on a list than Dashlane that fills it in every time, and then sometimes it doesn't fill it in. And Does anybody use Dashlane? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, yeah, so I... I made it so that it went back. You know what the best what the best password uh, grabber is and cache is? Your browser, uh, Chrome. Chrome has a great one. I mean, all your passwords, it just immediately puts them in there. And if, uh, many times when I don't know what my password is, I go to passwords, put in the name of the, uh, of the URL that I'm trying to get the password for, and then I simply put in my, uh, my password for the machine, and it gives it to me. You know, so I know it's it's there too. I don't even have to just worry about it being in uh, my Apple app, but that's what I suggest: is that if you want don't don't want to forget your passwords, get Chrome, use Chrome. It, they fill in the password for you. You know, and every time you put in a new password, they say, "Do you want this?" And you go, "Yep," and it's then in the list. But, um, but if it's out there. Hmm? Why can't somebody hack your machine and get your password from Chrome? Listen, they can do anything, I suppose. <laughs> uh, uh, I have, uh, I have a, uh, I do have a firewall here, you know, and it's not easy to get into my machine unless you're me. Okay, plain and simple. Uh, but uh, even you have a hard time. Even I have a hard time getting into my machine. Has <laughs> been witnessed by two nights. Are they going to come in and do it? Yeah. Apparently so. Yeah. But, yeah. But, uh, I, Kevin, I was telling them how the other night you and I and Josh were, the three of us, sitting here watching the Million Mega Man March or Mega... Mega comedy show. Mega <laughs> Millions Watch or whatever. I still got a stomachache from laughing so hard. Who? I said I still have a stomachache uh, yeah. from laughing oh, so yeah, hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, these were some of the biggest morons ever. It should have been the Million Moron March. <laughs> That's what it was. You know, I mean, it was just amazing. I even taped it. <laughs> and didn't they so have the woman who, who, who uh, didn't they have the woman who was a, uh, elected to Congress who was a QAnon? Oh God! Uh, yeah, she was up there. She was and up then the, What was that other? Uh, that other woman? What was it? Babes, women. Uh, oh, babes oh, Reagan and, Babe. Reagan Babe. Reagan Babe. Dot com. Yeah. What the wow. hell was that? She looked like she rolled out of a bowling alley with. She had cigarettes. If I could, if I could say this shit. without getting get monetizing, because it is a, a very uh, <clears throat> a kind of hairdo, she had a, J, a JFL, just yeah. fucked look. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, her hair was all like she just rolled out of bed somewhere, and somebody had been shagging her righteously. <laughs> you know, uh, and she. Yeah, it was some show. Yeah, and and then then we were looking for the see if you know the part where. Trump drove through the crowd, but we didn't see that part. He no. apparently yeah. drove right through the crowd. Yeah. 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 And uh, that, Unreal. Yeah. No, it was really uh, uh, some real morons. You know, and I, 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 I don't want to look. I, I don't want to be demeaning of, of morons, of actual morons. You've, <laughs> you, know, you, you know, I feel sorry for special children, but... <clears throat> yeah. Do you know what I... I got to tell you this. I just remembered this. When I was a kid, and I was studying psychology in school, okay? This was in the textbook. This was in the textbook mm -hmm. that taught me stuff. And it said zero to uh, 25 IQ is idiot. Mm -hmm. um, 25 to 50 is imbecile, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. 
Now get this. 50 to 70 this was moron. moron. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for this? 75, 70, or excuse me, 70 to 85 is American Indian. Oh, my God. That was what? in a psychology book that hmm. I was taught. And for a while, I actually thought American Indians fell between 70 and 85 until I suddenly realized that was some bogus crap. Who wrote the book? Buffalo Bill? No, I think it was, I think it was Donald Trump, if I'm not mistaken. But <laughs> yeah. Are you a little sick of all these Republican senators who just somehow, what are they, are they still, are they afraid of Trump? They have no brains. What the heck is yeah. No, but you say they have no brains. It's like they're afraid of Trump. And, they then, are. and then Lindsey Graham walks by and fist bumps Harris. Yep. Yep. On yeah. On the Senate floor. I mean, I'm going, what the what the hell was going on He's there? He's playing both sides of the well, street. Now, I'll tell you what it is. This is why I think Biden isn't going to have the worst time with, with, the, with the Senate. It's because they're all pals. I mean, they are... You're part of an elite bunch, okay? And so they, they kind of stick up for each other. And I think that Biden could walk in there and go, come on, you know I was one of you guys. Now let's work this thing out. He can talk their language. And, and Kamala Harris, same thing. I mean, does she have to automatically hate Lindsey Graham because of his politics or his idiocy? No, she really doesn't. She, he, she, he's another senator, and hi, you know, good to see you again. You haven't been here in a while. Well, I've been running for vice president, you know. Here, sit on the stick. Yeah. What's Newsom going to do about a, uh, a, a senator from California? Undoubtedly, he's going to put a Democrat in there because he's got to appoint a new, uh, yeah. new senator. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, there's a big push out here to put a uh, Hispanic Hispanic uh, senator in there. Really? Saw a lot of people pushing for that outside the yeah <clears throat> the city hall or wherever outside the the uh, yeah. Sacramento to to put a Hispanic person out there, which is fine. Whatever. If there's a decent one, you know. Well, I'm very happy for her. You know, she's been she's been she's had the faith for a long time, and she's worked her way up the ranks, being you know district attorney for San Francisco and then the attorney general for the state of California, ultimately a senator. You know, she's worked her way up in that job. I mean, somebody, some people could say she fucked her way up too, but, you know, I mean, she was, she was, Willie, she was Willie Brown's girlfriend at one time, and I think, didn't, did she, I think she went with he Gavin. on did. TV the other night, and I couldn't look at him the same way. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and and wasn't she, didn't she go with Gavin Newsom for a while? I, I Did she? I think so. I think so, when she was a, a district attorney of San Francisco. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think they had to cut that one short. I don't care. I mean, I think she's smart, and it doesn't diminish her in any way. I think she's been able to hold any, you know, adequately do whatever job she got. Um, you know. And uh, in the meantime, she had a lot of fun doing it. And then she married this guy. Um, was she married before? She At some point, she had kids. And I don't know if she had kids by this husband. Yeah, I don't quite remember yeah. Um, but yeah. And he said he was leaving his his uh, his business to go work out there too. Well, you know, I think that's a very liberated thing to do. The wife got a good job someplace, and you leave to go with her because she got the better job. That's right. Let her go to work. Yeah. Now he, but he's very successful, isn't he? In his own right. Yeah. 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 So he can probably leave whatever company he's working with and still get the, reap the benefits from it. Yeah, he's a, he's a law. That's kind of like if Brian left his job, he'd still reap the benefits of it. Right, Brian? Sure. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, I got to just tell you this quickly. Marjorie and I, you know, we've been shopping around for insurance because we got to get, first we got our supplemental. We got that all taken care of. Then we had to take care of the prescription. It, they don't make it easy on you to try and figure out how this whole thing works. It's absurd. I mean, you need a college degree to, to, to go through that. 
Am I right, Robert? Yes. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, are you of the age where you have to go out and get the uh, the prescription for Medicare? Yeah, we do it through my old employer. Oh, oh yeah, you said you do it through your old employer. Yeah, so it's easy. But negotiating that is just, mm-hmm. it's a bear. Because there are like several plans. There's the $33 plan and there's the $79 plan. Well, which one do you yeah. want? Well, why should I take this over that? And it's just on and on and on. You know, the other thing, just getting the supplemental insurance, simple. You know, they're all about the same price and you get it. You know. I think the hardest part is listening to all these fucking commercials. Oh, well, that. Ever. Forget it. MSN, MSNBC, should, MSNBC should be known as the Medicare Network. You know. Wearing me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you only have to tell me once. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Enough. I'll call. I promise. And it's a free call. Yeah. Yeah, of it's course free. it's a free call. It costs you nothing yeah. to call, right? Our operators are standing by, and then it says licensed insurance agents. Well, wait a minute. If you're not selling me anything, why is there a licensed insurance agent there? That isn't my favorite commercial, though. My favorite is for these drugs that um, they tell you all the wonderful things the drug does. I'll pick a name, Jardians, and then it says, don't take Jardians if you're allergic to it. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Don't eat grapefruits. <laughs> well, no, I, I love how it, it's like, uh, this, this will give you a full and more enjoyable sex life. Side effects may be, yeah. you know, <laughs> blah, 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 your full. dick falls off, you yeah, know. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then it's always, if you notice, when they start showing the contradictions on the bottom of the screen, or when the announcer is saying the contradictions, to yeah. get you away from hearing the contradictions, there are pictures of people playing volleyball, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Taking their yeah. kids out for a walk, yeah. petting a puppy, yeah. <laughs> you know, and you're going, yeah. and he's going, and you may have, uh, you know, uh, anal warts and uh, painful <laughs> yeah. rectal itch. Uh, yeah. Do not use this drug if you're allergic to chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I mean, it just goes on and on. Infection um, of the perineum. Oh, no. Uh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's the taint, folks. Yeah, uh, right, exactly. No, but they go uh, on no. and on about this stuff, and it's just, it's amazing, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then, oh, then, the ones I love, we just got enough time for me to, to say this one. They will say, this one, you know, if you have cancer and you take this drug, you're going to live longer. That's basically the pitch. And then this thing on the bottom of the screen says, average life expectancy added is two and a half months. Oh, my. And how much does it cost? And I look it up, and it's like $20,000 a year. Jack Daniels would do a better job. Jack Daniels would do a better job. (laughs) Right. have to pay two more bills. Hey, there's our theme song. Boy, this has been nice tonight. Uh, I'm glad I finally got back on. Uh, And and we're able to do a show. We'll do another one tomorrow night and see if we can get it right then, too. Hey, Robert, thank you for joining us. Uh, Brian, always a pleasure. Uh, She's out somewhere, right? She's playing games right now. Oh, it's almost bedtime. Yeah. Oh, okay. What game does she like? Anything in particular? Roblox. 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 Oh. I play with her Roblox, yeah. Okay. Uh, have her play The Last of Us. She gets to kill people in it. It's really terrific. <laughs> uh, uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you. And, of course, thank you to Jeffrey Stein and Kevin. Uh, what did it say? Count them against and again. And again, oh, count them again and again and again. You Ooh. lose. <laughs> anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. Okay, there we go. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Thanks to all of them. We'll get another one getting together tomorrow night, same time. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night, t- uh, 10:30, right? Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, especially now, be safe out there and wear a goddamn mask. It'll save your life, okay? It'll save the life of somebody else, too. Night, everybody.